in this video I'll be showing you how you can replace a sky inside Photo P. Um, so the first thing you want to do is um, mask around your sky. So um, I'll put an image on the screen of what it should look like so you can kind of just get a better understanding on how it should look like. Um, so just keep in mind you can use any tool you want. Um, it can be quick selection, magic wand, pen tool, lasso tool. Um, yeah, it can be any one of those tools. Just make sure you're able to mask around your sky. So um, I'm going to quickly do that with the pen tool. So what you want to do is you want to go over to this um, icon over here. And this is called the raster mask. So just click that. Um, but this isn't quite what we want because um, we want to replace the sky, not the object. So um, this um, raster mask should appear over here. So just click it and press Control I and that will invert the layer. And now um, your sky is gone and you have your main object. Um, so now you just want to import your sky. And um, when your sky is imported, you want to drag your sky layer at the bottom of your um, image layer, like this. And then you can resize the sky um, the, as much as you want. Make sure um, it's a smart object, so right click, convert to smart object, so um, it doesn't lose the resolution. Um, so yeah, this is how you replace the sky inside Photo P. Um, when doing this, I recommend that you kind of add like um, curves or levels or just something like that to make it a bit more realistic so um, the sky looks like it was a part of the image. Um, so yeah, I um, hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!